Hey guys, today we have this 2012 Hyundai Sonata. Customer complained that he keep she keep losing um coolant and some fuel leaks in the radiator. So my suspect here is that um, it has a radiator leak. That's why we got a brand new radiator here. But of course we're gonna check it and verify that that's a problem. All right, let's get started. <laughs> Alright guys, so let's go ahead and open the hood. I already lifted the car up here. If you look down here, we can actually see that it's already leaking some coolant here. Um, it looks like it's coming from the radiator, but we gotta make sure that we can visually see that problem. So what we're gonna do is pressurize the radiator, remove the cap, and we do have this um a kit to pressurize this radiator so let's go ahead and install this so this is gonna be pretty tight make sure it's sealed pretty good we have this one this one is gonna make um pressure inside quick connect as you can see it's zero psi so we're just gonna pump this one See if we built up something. Here. So right now it's not building up. Hold on one second. All right, so install this. Make sure this is sealed pretty good. Sometimes it's not it's sealed tight. So as long as we can build up some pressure here. This one. Make sure you got it all the way in. Let's see if it's building some. So this one is not building pressure, so we're gonna make sure it's not the tool that's having a problem. Okay. That I get. Okay, let's see. There you go. See that it's building pressure now. See? There you go. This isn't the best tool. This is a cheaper version, but it'll do the work. Okay, we got a pressure here, and then I can hear something leaking. And also, you can see here it's dripping. Things creeping down there. That side. Let's put some more pressure here. And here you see those bottle of water? It's and it's dripping there. And that one is straight up from a radiator. So we are gonna conclude that it's a radiator problem. And continue on replacing this. Let's go ahead and um, drain the coolant. So we can remove the um the radiator as you can see it's leaking there all right first thing we're gonna go to the passenger side underneath you gotta lift the car up this cover here need to remove the combination of 10 millimeter bolts and some couple screws so put it in the side and locate the as you can see it's still dripping here the drain plug right there look at that one this one so we're gonna remove that and then let it drip 
all the coolant before we remove the radiator. So you gotta get a bucket. I only have a small bucket, so I might need a couple of these. All right, and actually that's the drip area here. So can you unplug this, see? Unscrew it, and that's coming out. You can unscrew all the way out here, and then it's gonna pour this way. And that's all I wanna do. Let it drip, and then I'm gonna work on top while it's draining. Okay, from the top, looks like we're gonna be removing the fan. This hose, this hose has um, look like a 10 millimeter here. You can disconnect this now. And then remove this part too, this intake and the, the fan. This one has two 10 millimeter bolts here. All right, you got this two out. This should just come out pretty easy. Put it in aside. And then this is loose already. We're gonna unclip this bolt, this clamp here, and we're just gonna put this up here. All right, when you got this disconnected, you can put it in the side here. Then disconnect this fan connector here, put it in the side. And then this fan will have one bolt, 10 millimeter bolt here, and another here. And then we can go ahead and lift the whole fan out. So those bolts are out. Just go ahead and start it up there's a little tab in the bottom you just gonna uh, press it and this should lift up see go and this should come out and be gentle so it's just a little bit tight but it will come out Go, this fan is out. Set it aside, and then we're gonna go look on the radiator. From here, we're gonna disconnect the line from the transmission line. This one, we're gonna remove that. We're gonna remove this too. We're gonna have a little oil drip in there, so we're gonna lift that up here. Let's put it aside in another. Radiator holes on the bottom. You gotta disconnect that too. And once you disconnect that, we're gonna remove the condenser on the front side of it, which is just a clip right here. I'm gonna show All you. All right, so we got the hoses here for the transmission line and the bottom coolant hose. Next is these two bolts here, and there's another two bolts here that's holding the radiator. So we're gonna remove that 10 millimeter bolt. All right. So those are out, you'll be able to slide this out just a little bit. Let's go ahead and remove this. That's, that's the one we just remove. Make sure it's in the right way. There's a little tab that pointing there, pointing back. So that's kind of out. So you can see something is bent here. We're gonna go ahead move this condenser back here so we can separate the condenser and to the radiator okay so tab here this tab you pitch that and there's another one on the bottom you am gonna lift the condenser up and the radiator is gonna come out let's go ahead and move this one here all right let me show you this side this side there's a tab here this one you're gonna pull that out flat screwdriver will work and then the condenser will lift up okay so I got it out so you can see here you'll be able to lift this up and move forward Let's see Let's see it's up that's out and on the other side too it's out so when you have the out you'll be able to lift the whole radiator see if I can do it with my hand, one hand. Okay. I think that's it. On the bottom one didn't come out. Let's see if I can, there you go. That's out. So, put the 
radiator out. There you go, it's coming out. There you go. So from here, we can investigate where is the crack. There you go. The crack is coming from here. Somewhere up here. Because it's wet there. I'm pretty sure there's the crack going there. And we can just go ahead and investigate the AC condenser. Condenser doesn't look too bad. As you can see, this is tucked in. We'll see if we can push it back. But that's it for the radiator. We're gonna go ahead, put the new one in. All right, take out the new radiator. The condenser, I kind of strain it, straight it up a little bit. And, um, we just gonna double check everything. This everything is match. Everything should match the same. This area here the same. Um, what else? This hoses for the oil line are the same. We have this one on the bottom on the top. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and transfer this one before I forget. Transfer that. Then let's go ahead and install the new one in. All right. I'm gonna be careful that we don't bend or crack this one. So once you go down, the um, condenser must hook in on the back. So All let's right, do that. the condenser is aligned. We go ahead and push it down. There you go. One side and the other side here too. It's down. And then we're gonna put the, um, the bottom of the radiator on the slot, whole slot, same as this one. I'm talking about this one here. This one need to be under the hole, those two. All right, when those are good to go, we're gonna go ahead and put the top mount like this. We just pull on here. And on the other side, right here. And we're gonna bolt that down. That's it. That's it. And then it goes bolt it down here. Two here and two on this side. Right there. Alright, let's go ahead and put the bolt in. So those are good these are good double check the bottom make sure it's not moving and make sure the drain plug is closed and time to put the, the hoses back in let's put this hose let's start with this bottom hose this one goes here the bottom hose clamp and this two transmission line hose. all right we got all the hoses back in double check your work make sure everything is good then we're gonna go ahead put the fan back in and this one's just gonna snap and we gotta be careful as well because you don't want to hit that um the new radiator that we just installed so you just gotta be gentle of installing them and then it should drop pretty easy. I'm doing it one handed right now. Couple clips here and there that might be in the way. But they're plastics, so they're stretchable. Alright, fan is in, just gonna snap it down. That's it, locked in the bottom. Same thing on the other side. You know you're in the right position. If your screw hole is aligned. So this one need to drop more. That side need to, need to drop more here. It's not all the way in. Let's see. So I need to open up just a little bit and drop it. There you go. And then, yep, my screw bolt on top is aligned, so you're good. Go ahead, put that in. And on the other side too. Okay. 
there you can connect this um, fan connector there I'm just gonna tight this one here that's good the other side too okay, so the fan is good then now is the hose for the cap with the other cap so this overflow hose should go there and this top hose top radiator hose should go in here and get this one out okay then we got this bolt in for the hose clamp is good the last thing we're gonna put is this intake go there and then two more bolts there you go guys and this should be it what we're gonna do here we're just gonna double check our work that one's good that one's good then that's it guys so next thing we're gonna do is put the bottom cover and then fill the, the radiator with the coolant and we're done and that's it guys that's how you replace the radiator for this 2012 hyundai sonata it's a pretty nice car there you go hope you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe